friends welcome back to another weekly vlog it is a monday february it is monday february 5th how are you hope all is well if you're new here welcome to the fam if you're a returning subscriber thank you <laughs> so Today is Monday. Today is Monday morning. As I is still asleep, I was able to shower, do my makeup, do my hair. Um, he woke up, fed him, changed him, and then he went back to sleep. So I'm currently waiting for him to wake up and then we can continue with our day. But yes, um, good morning. I have been doing well. Um, his sleep schedule has been superb, honestly. Like, even if he doesn't sleep throughout the night anymore, he'll still give me a six or five hour stretch. Um, the worst was his three hours that he wakes up every three hours. It's better than nothing. I'll take it. So, this morning, um, I originally wanted to go and do my running arounds today, which is why I got ready. But honestly, I'm just not in the mood. I don't want to do anything, so I'm not going to. However, I did do my lashes. I did them myself. I did a little, like, shorter because I wanted a little bit natural. Then, um, I wanted it to be a little bit more natural so that when I get my longer lashes, like, you can tell the difference. But I'm feeling those short lashes. I don't know why. I feel like simple is more better. But maybe these are a little too short. I don't know. I'm still filling them out. I just did them today myself um, since I had the time. Yes, I got my mama shirt on. I still am in pajamas. But it's okay. Mind your business. Today I wanted to go do my running arounds. I chose not to, but I don't know. Lately I haven't been motivated to do stuff. Like on the weekend, I'm ready to go. Um, I guess it's because my husband's home, but on the weekend I'm ready to go. I want to go out. I want to go do stuff. I want to do my running arounds. I want to go. Yes, but this weekend, not so much. I am pretty hungry and I don't know what I want to eat. Another thing, like my appetite has been horrible this week. I'll make nine weeks postpartum and I've lost literally all the weight of me being pregnant. I'm back to my prior weight even before I had my BBL. So if you're not aware, I had a BBL uh, about a year ago, a year and a half ago. No. Yeah, a year and a half ago, a little more than a year and a half and April makes two years. Um, and I was 140 pounds. Um, I gained weight to do the BBL. And I was 140 pounds, 142 pounds when I went to go do my BBL. When I came back, obviously with like being in pain and stuff like that, you don't eat. So I did lose like the two pounds. So I went back to the 140. I stood 140 for a while. Fluctuating from 140, 142, 140, 142. And then I got pregnant, had a miscarriage, got pregnant again, had a miscarriage, and then I got pregnant again, um, and had as I went up to 163 pounds, and now I'm 136, which was my prior weight, um, to gaining the weight for the BBL. So, I am 136 pounds, only nine weeks postpartum, and I'm kind of concerned. I don't know if that's good. Um, honestly, it's really because I don't eat. Like, it's not that I don't want to eat, it's that I'm either really busy or I just don't feel like eating. Like, I don't have the appetite. I'm not going to force myself to eat. However, I do hydrate. Um, I drink coconut water. I drink the body armor. I drink Starbucks um, pink drink. And then I drink water throughout the whole entire day. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to see why i'm not hungry i don't know 
maybe I should start taking vitamins again so that I can have my nutrients and stuff. Like the most I'll eat dinner pretty much. Like when my husband's home and I finally get to settle down and breathe. And even with dinner, I eat a small portion. So I know that's not healthy. And I really do want to incorporate healthy meals in my regimen. But your girl just... I just I don't even want to eat I don't even want to eat that um I kind of fast now like during the morning literally I wake up me and as I will wake up at 10 and I won't eat until 12 I'll drink only water till 12 and then after 12 I try to eat something but yeah it's just I don't know I don't know what's going on with my weight I don't know what's going on with my appetite but I'm going to try to find something to make something work because it's not working um my finger hurts because i burnt it doing my daughter's hair doing my daughter's hair this thing looks horrible it's like a bubble i pinched it and burned it at the same time i put toothpaste on it whatever i don't the okay to drop off a zai for the daycare free day basically what it is is you drop off your child for four hours um even he got approved and everything and stuff like that so you get like one free day and you drop them off for four hours and then you see if you like it or they like it and stuff like that however i don't think i'm going to do that like even though they do take six weeks old azai is only nine weeks this week and i don't think i'm comfortable with dropping him off and yeah i'm not ready to part with my baby yet to be honest i'm i'm not even gonna lie like sometimes it's hard for me sometimes i feel like i need the break but i'm just not ready to part with my boy not yet especially the fact that i am going to go back to work like i'm not a stay-at-home mom um full-time like i'm staying at home right now because i am on maternity leave and yeah that's it like i go back to i'm a working mom i work okay so i go back to work in april and that's only two months away so i'm trying to enjoy and soak up all the moments that i have with this eye but yes they did offer me the four hour free day and i'm don't think i'm gonna do it he'll see you in april babe <laughs> so this week is my dad's birthday so actually tomorrow is my dad's birthday we're going to do dinner this weekend on saturday down in kingsburg if you are not familiar with new jersey kingsburg is a beach um i have a condo over there so we're gonna go down to the condo we're gonna do dinner down there probably stay the weekend down there and john's dad's birthday is this monday so what we're going to do is both our parents well both of our dad's birthday at the same time and then we're gonna spend time at the condo do dinner hang out chill and have vibes um even though it's winter and by the beach it's freezing it's still nice to go out there and hang out and chill and stuff like that and just get away for the weekend so that is the plan for this weekend as i has his two month shots this week as well on wednesday so we have to go do that it's just like i have so much going on this week next week um yes yeah, so that's why i'm vlogging sometimes i you know what's funny i always say that my vlogs are like boring like oh they're boring i didn't do anything but they're still hella long and i'm sorry for that like if you're watching and you stick through the whole entire vlog and you find it boring i apologize i'm just trying to give you guys content and then when i don't post you guys hit me up like worth the vlog you know so yeah i'm trying to be consistent especially the fact that now i'm home and i might have the time to do it um why not vlog and make content because when i was working it was hard to balance the both like i only vlogged on the weekend and i couldn't do sit down videos it was either one or the other for sunday videos i'm trying to give you two videos a week now because i'm home so yeah that is that this week we're also going to maybe not this week i'm not sure so the plan is to order the bathroom stuff so that we can start redecorating the bathroom but i also want to finish just finish the kids room since i already started um 
so I already ordered my son's net that comes in literally on Wednesday which is in two days and I'll put all his teddy bears up and stuff like that that I told you prior video but I really 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 want to start working on the bathroom because I feel like the bathroom is still like an empty canvas it doesn't make sense to me um the bathroom like my whole house is done and then when you go into the bathroom I have one thing hanging up and that's it <laughs> so I want to really work on the bathroom I want to make something of it I want like a hotel luxury vibes I wanted to give so I am going to do online shopping for that and I don't know if I want to order it this week or I'll just save it for next week's video and then just finish the kids stuff this week I'm still debating but yeah that has to be done because I look in the bathroom and it pisses me off so with that being said yes I'm going to get dressed wait for his eye to wake up watch a show and then hopefully come on here before I have to pick up the kids for school um I have to pick them up at 4 4 30 so hopefully as I wakes up around you know so hopefully as I wakes up around like one o'clock for his bottle it is 12 08 right now so yeah I'm just hanging out I guess waiting for my son to wake up and yeah I'll see you guys in, in a bit good <laughs> you like your bottle okay guys so it's much much later he had done took two naps already and it is now almost like 4 30 it's 4 15 um i have to go pick up the kids we just hung out watched tv we hung out today didn't we He's being very well today. I don't know if he doesn't feel well or something. I feel like every time I say, oh, he's not, he's quiet today. Like, I always think he doesn't feel well. But maybe he's just giving mommy a good day. Are you giving mama a good day? Yes. Nope. He does not care right now. But yeah. So, we got to go pick up the kids after I feed and change him um hopefully it's not too bad outside john didn't tell me it was freezing so usually that's a good sign <laughs> oh my god so i opened this new blanket i wish i can show you because i'm actually sitting on it but i opened up this new blanket it's from the gerber collection the at walmart bro this blanket is superb i wish i'd been opened this like i just left this sitting in his new items for a while and then i was just like you know what let me just open this because he needs a, a blanket and i just grabbed the first one and they're all new because they're he has a lot of new blankets and this one let me see if i can show you it's this one this is so soft where's the tag yeah it's from modern moments from walmart bro it's heavy it but it's like it, it feels good go get one that this 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 is good quality <laughs> right Zai? see that's good quality he's not having it however but i'm going to feed him i'm going to change him and i will be back on here later on while i'm cooking um maybe we can talk about some things that have been heavy on my heart um i've been thinking about a lot of things lately and it's just like a lot i feel like when you go through postpartum you have so much stuff that you have to like you want to think about or you do think about and you're like just going through a ton of emotions but i'll talk to you a little later about it and i'll see you guys in a little right say so we'll see you later friends she has to feed me <laughs> right. okay friends so I'm back from to my kids up from school and I just wanted to come on here to talk before I get in the shower and get ready for bed and stuff like that. We cooked dinner and stuff, we ate, we had family time and stuff, we watched TV. Now 
John is putting the baby to sleep and I'm going to take some time to myself. But before I do, I wanted to get um, ready with you and just kind of just talk about what's been on my mind. First, before anything, I want to put out a trigger warning um, for infant loss and miscarriages. So if you are triggered, you can just skip forward in this video. I don't want to trigger you by it, but we are going to be talking about that. So I, I found out that I was having a miscarriage. Um, it was hard for me. I feel like anybody that goes through miscarriages, you know, get hurt and they take it rough. Um, but um, but it was very hard for me to like understand, especially the fact that I had just went through a miscarriage back in December. So to have another one um, two months later was kind of like, it sucked. It, it was a sucky feeling. It wasn't a great feeling. I didn't, you know, I wasn't super excited about it, but it sucked. And especially the fact that me and John were praying on it. We were taking all the precautions to get pregnant and stuff like that. So long story short, when you are miscarrying, you're just like, you think about everything. You, you start questioning your faith and stuff like that. You think about why or um, is this because I'm not ready, you know, and then you try to make well, I personally try to make a light of it, like maybe this just wasn't it or, you know, it just wasn't my time. God has a better timing and clearly he did because literally the next following month I got pregnant with Azai and I found out later on in April. But it was just hard for me, like just to accept, especially the fact that I had announced to my family, my children, my husband um, and stuff like that. Basically, I was frightened that this that would happen and you know, it's just It was just a hard situation and you know, I got over it. I grieved and I moved forward and You know, I got blessed at the end of it all. I had my rainbow baby But around this time I always get sad because I think about what if like what if you know how the baby would have looked like what was she gonna be like what is she you know how is she gonna look what she would look like as I and so forth like it, it was a lot so with that just being said um, I just try to keep myself busy and motivated but I can't help but think a lot about the baby so I don't know I just I just wanted to come on here because that's been weighing heavy on my heart and you know, I just, it's just a big situation. Like, it means something to me. Um, she would have been born in October, and I'm pretty sure she would have been as beautiful and perfect as a sigh. But I'm actually getting a phone call, so I'm going to leave that here. Leave this off on a light or note. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to take a shower. I am going to sleep. I love you guys so much and good night. Hello, friends. Hope all is well. Happy Wednesday. I did not get on the vlog at all yesterday because my son is not feeling well as I woke up. Well, it started off with Milani having the sniffles. Obviously, when you are in school, um, you are going to get sick like when you're around kids. I always make sure they wash their hands when they come home. They take off their shoes. They take off their school clothes so that, um, so that the kids could... Why is my seat so down? I think my husband was in my chair. Um, so that the baby doesn't get sick, but, you know, I guess with time, um, uh, he eventually got sick, because Milani had the sniffles, then Zayden ended up getting the sniffles, and now Azai is fully congested. Like, when I say fully congested, he's having a hard time breathing. Um, I cleared out his nose this morning. Like, I picked out really two big boogers that was clogging his nose. And now he's, like, able to breathe a little bit more. Um, I also gave him Tylenol. I didn't want to do that. 
but he was starting to get warm. His temperature was like 98.5 and I just honestly don't want to take any chances. Like my baby's a baby. He shouldn't have to sit here and wait to get administered medication or anything like that. Um, so I just ended up biting the bullet and giving him the medicine. But my heart hurts like i literally hate seeing him uncomfortable i hate seeing any of my kids sick like i was giving uh, milani medicine the other day she was like not feeling well zayden ended up taking a leg rub because he's just said that he had the sniffles and he thinks that it's his allergies my son does have bad allergies so i just gave a side tylenol just in case pretty much just in case like i not my baby so anyway I'm on my way to the doctor right now so that he can be seen originally he was supposed to be seen for his too much shots but baby I just mm -mm. I'm really just going to talk to the doctor about it because I don't want to have to give him his shots and then him break out in a fever or him get more uncomfortable or anything like that like to be honest I my boy doesn't need any more trauma than what the hell he's going through um but yeah so we're on our way to do that today's actually a beautiful beautiful day um it's 46 degrees out but it's getting warmer so I believe it's supposed to be up to 52 today winter hello like I don't mind winter like this um so that's cool i want to go and get something to eat i have not eaten i have not had a coffee i did i barely ate yesterday i was holding him the whole time yesterday like he was just super cranky but also he was like you can tell he was starting to get sick and then he woke up full-blown sick pretty much so yeah i need to eat something i need to put something in my system like i tried to breastfeed him and he got so frustrated because he was one couldn't breathe two sucking the crap out of my boob because there was no milk like and then when i pumped i pumped only one ounce one ounce i was able to give him like pumping like and that's like literally forcing myself pumping i have not drinking my body armor my coconut water like i have not did any of that only because like i'm just biz like honestly i've just i just wasn't feeling myself i have not i think i have the baby blues to be honest um i have not been feeling like myself lately my I've been saying this since I gave birth, like that my emotions were all over the place, but now it's not even my emotions anymore. It's like I'm physically numb, like I don't, I'm not motivated to do anything and I'm just numb at this point, but yes. On our way to do that, I was finally able to put him down for a nap and able to take care of myself, uh, shower, did some makeup got dressed for once and did my hair and that feels good like I noticed like when I uphold myself I feel good like I feel good so when you look good you feel good you know um but yeah I am super exhausted I was looking online last night um at kids foot locker so I already told you my son Zayden grew so quickly <laughs> Uh, he's one size away from being my size in shoe like he's a three and I'm a four in kids um, or a four in boys and a five in woman he's already a size three I have to honestly buy him shoes he literally has two pairs of sneakers and one pair of slides he asked me for um, Crocs but I'm gonna get them Crocs like you know I'm gonna get them Crocs around the springtime so that they can wear and just throw on and just be comfortable. Um, but yeah, my boy is full grown man. But this little boy asked me for some damn Yeezys and them things are 320 something dollars for his size shoe. So um, I don't think he's gonna get those because I'm gonna have to at least buy him two pairs of sneakers and a pair of 300. No, that's like three shoes for him right there. 
Um, so yeah, I was online looking at Kit's book, Foot Locker. Honestly, they didn't have much for him. Like, not much priorities. The 13s, they had in like a mustard white color. I think I might get those. And then, um, there was another pair. A pair of ones. Black, red, and white ones. But I have to check his closet because I think those were the ones that I threw out. I have to make sure that those are not the ones he has in his closet. So, um, I gotta do that. Uh, my daughter, I was thinking of getting her the little Ugg boots, the little mini ones that are trending. I think she'll look super cute with them with some dad socks. And then a pair of New Balances because New Balances go with everything. And she's very into like the hip type of thing. So, I want to do that as well. Um, I also need a pair of Uggs. I'm out here rocking two-year-old Uggs that are holding on for dear life. No, they're not too bad because I don't really wear my Uggs. What happened was I got caught in the rain with them and I didn't, like, put the cleaner on it yet. And they were brand new at the time that I got caught in the rain with them. And then after that, I was just like, m like, they're already messed up. Might as well just forget the shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that so yes that is what happened to be honest tbh that is what happened i'm pretty sure that if i washed them with the cleaner they'll be fine like they're not bad they'll be clean of course you're gonna cross the street when it is my turn to go i don't know if i want to pick up the kids early today like since i'm out might as well pick them up and then go home and beat the traffic that way i'm not taking a zai out in and out of the house i mean in and out of the car when he's not feeling well but i don't know it's super it's not super early it's 12 42 my appointments at 1 I'm around the corner uh, my appointments at 1 and by the time I'm done it should be 2 o'clock I don't think I don't know I have to think about it to be honest I'm just being lazy like I don't want to make the double trips and then I can probably start cooking early too um yeah but that's pretty much it I just wanted um to come on here and like update you guys because I haven't chatted with you guys in a minute in a hot minute and honestly it's just I'm literally momming like when I say that I am doing my damn thing like all three of my kids got sick within the span all three of the kids got sick so yeah so nice out i low-key like when it's like this i feel good like i think i have seasonal depression i definitely know my husband has seasonal depression i know my husband definitely has seasonal depression um wow it's super bright i have to find parking which is the worst when it is apparently street cleaning i had to take out my light because when I vlog outside and I have this big light on, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go check in right now. And then I'll check in with you guys afterwards. We can go to Starbucks, go pick up the kids early maybe, and then head home so I can start cooking. We can chat it up and stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to come on here onto the vlog because... I haven't updated you guys and that's what I've been going through. Your boy was sick, my other kids were sick, and I'm super sad that my son is literally only two months old and he has to deal with sickness. And my thing is I have never had a child in the winter time. I literally all my children oh it's bright. Both my children were born like when the weather was pretty well, like Milani's a spring baby, Zayden's a summer baby, and stuff like that, but baby winter babies y'all hit different y'all really do hit different look at my boy he's just so tired and he like literally missed his bottle as well but yeah i'll check in with you guys later because i'm not gonna bring the camera in all right we're back first of all my kids doctors 
moved and they didn't even have the decency to tell me anything so i had to call them and be like um the office is closed what's going on they're like oh yeah we moved so that irritated the crap out of me on top of the fact that on top of the fact that um the girl had an attitude like it was my fault and I'm like, um, nobody called me. No one, like, insured me. She's like, oh, it's been months. I said, no. I said, my son just had an appointment last month there at the old doctor. So it hasn't been months. So, anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, I, he ended up getting seen. He got checked for RSV and COVID, which both came out negative. And then, um, they sent out labs to check if he has the flu as well and uh hopefully he doesn't um but i find that out on monday they gave me a nebulizer and saline treatments for him so that i can give him every two to three hours i'm going to order a humidifier and like the vic solution and then the booger suctioner but like the electronic one because the manual one he said doesn't get everything out and I don't want to do the Mom Frida one that I can just get at Target where you like suck it. Mm -mm. No. It allowed me to do a treatment in the room while I was waiting for the RSV stuff. And um, yeah, as I um, took to it very well because he fell asleep immediately. Like, I guess it was like such relief for him that he could breathe and shit. I'm gonna eat and I'm going to get a coffee because I definitely need it. Your girl has been stressing. I'm glad he doesn't have RSV. That was my main concern, obviously with COVID as well. You know, especially the fact that I've been taking precautions, but now my friends have been coming over and more family has been coming over to come see him for the first time. So, you know, I would be really upset if someone had COVID or they were sick and they got my child sick without telling me, yeah it'd be done up because i only had a few people in my house i would know who it is so with that being said we are on our way to starbucks i'm going to check in with you guys later it i, I could pick up the kids now it's literally after school it took me two two hours two hours in the damn doctor's office yeah i was upset like upset like and originally Originally, Azai had an appointment for his shots, but they didn't even have shots there because they literally just opened. So they were like, oh, we don't have the shots. We don't have the vaccines. I'm like, what do you mean you don't have the vaccine? So if my son wasn't sick, you're telling me that I came here today for no reason. <laughs> but everything works out within its, I guess, how it's supposed to. I'm not going to trip on it, but they need to be a little bit more organized because I don't appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to jam to some music. I feel like I need some music therapy right now. Get a big dick and he eat pussy like a vacuum. Fuck a drill rapper, he be killing shit. Fuck a scammer nigga, he be stealing shit. I'm gonna let him hit. Then fell asleep and when I woke up, he, he was stealing it. it. Yeah. I need a lot of you. Got my little yeah, yeah. Got my little yeah, yeah. Got my little yeah, yeah. He don't never tell me no. Uh, no pop, I got with your homie. Got a friend for you. What up, L? Good morning, friends. How are you? Happy Thursday. Most importantly, happy nine weeks to my baby boy. Yes, he's nine weeks old today. Uh, so, I just wanted to come on here. One, I look crazy, and this is like me literally waking up and getting as I, you know, situated for the day. But, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, having a sick baby. And it wasn't even him, to be honest. Like, 
I could not sleep for the life of me, but he slept fine. He had a good night's sleep. He literally slept like perfect. He woke up one time and that was to eat and that was at 8 a.m. I'm just exhausted. Like I thought that, like I kept checking his breathing. I kept checking to make sure he was comfortable. Like I couldn't, I let him sleep right next to me all night. Like it was hard. Um, but he slept fine and I was just like, all this for my son to be like mom i'm good i'm chilling i'm about to give him his bottle it is 10 o'clock so i'm about to give him his first bottle of the morning like with us being up because we usually come out here um around 10 and then um i'm about to give him a treatment give him um a little wipe down and change his outfit and stuff like that so that he can just be comfortable and then i can give him his meds i don't know i feel like lately my clothes hasn't been my vibe i've been more like relaxed and kind of like clean girl aesthetic so the clothes that i have is like too too much like you know leather pants blazer like you know nice like it's just too much so i ended up doing shopping online yesterday last night since i was up and i am going to revamp my whole freaking wardrobe and when i say revamp it i mean revamp it and then i'm gonna give you guys a haul but i just want like basic pieces and my problem was i wasn't investing in my basic pieces so i was purchasing like you know pieces from zara pieces from you know uh, fashion nova pretty little thing and stuff like that and yes their clothes are decent they after a couple washes and stuff like that the clothes just doesn't uphold themselves anymore like at the end of the day you end up throwing it away and you end up spending a lot of money for it you don't order to I'm like drawing a blank that's the tiredness of me but i ended up making an order to essence i ended up making an order to pangaya i ended up making an order from desi and skims as well so you guys are gonna get a nice 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 haul i also did an amazon order for the two outfits that i like like i have it in gray i talked about it i've raved about it on this channel already um but yeah those i ordered it and they do take like three weeks to get here so i ordered it today it should be here in three weeks they said sometime like mid-march for those items but yeah like honestly like i was investing in pieces and i kind of just like was throwing them away or just not touching them anymore because it got messed up and i didn't have the heart to throw it out because i literally just bought it so what i did was just invest in myself and invested in pieces um tonight well today we're definitely gonna just order the shoes because my kids need shoes i've been saying that like my son's grown um so we're gonna do that as well and i think i need a pair of uggs as well because my two pairs of uggs let me just show you my uggs and look at my uggs girl let me tell you first of all what is this let me just feed my son because he's about to kill me and then i'm gonna get myself situated and then i'll let you know if i place the order for the shoes and stuff like that we'll talk okay friends so i'm back um yes i took some time out to get myself a little bit situated i just have this plt top and these pants from Amazon, they were in my Amazon haul. If you want, I'll still link it. I literally did all my chores and baby is still sleeping. So I'm not complaining, but I just wanted to come back on here. I did end up placing the order for their shoes. I got Zayden shoes, um, the Jordan 11s. I got them from off the goat because kids for locker didn't have it and the regular for locker didn't have it. Um, in his size and then I got as I literally the same exact pair I got them in a size three because he has two pairs of sneakers now 
um, size 1C. And then he also has two pairs of shoes, like a pair of sneakers and a pair of Tim's for size 2. And so he needed a pair of 3's. Um, because he doesn't have any 3C shoes. So I did get him that and maybe I'll purchase him another pair. I just don't know what other shoe I would want him to have um, around 3C. So that is that. I ordered Milani her boots and I ordered my boots as well just so I don't have to run to the mall with his eye when he's not feeling so well. John is going to go after work to go get a haircut. So I have time to be home by myself today. I'm prepping for Azai to wake up. He was supposed to wake up at 1. It is 1.25. He's starting to move now, so now I think he's about to wake up. I made his bottle for him to drink. I have to put in his medication into his nebulizer so I can give him a treatment as well. And then I have to give him... Um, some grape water to settle his stomach because of the fact that he has phlegm like a phlegm situation he's been throwing up a lot and i've been having to change him consistently because he has a lot of blowouts and also because he's full of throw up is right in here but okay i just got a package from amazon um remember i said i was gonna buy my son the little net for his plushies you see it yeah, so I just picked one up for him so that he can hang up for his plushies and stuff. My daughter already has one. And then I got an outfit because it is my dad's birthday dinner for Saturday. And it's just this like brown knitted ribs. I don't know if you can see the material. It's super duper stretchy so it hopefully will suck me in good. Um, it goes all the way to the pillow. And then I got, well, it comes with this top, just a simple little top. And then it comes with the little cardigan as well. Also super stretchy. I got a size medium for reference. So hopefully it fits. I'll try that on maybe tomorrow. If not, you'll see it on me Saturday. Um, but yeah. I just wanted to come on here to show you guys that I'm going to take it down for the night. John has the baby and the baby is super cranky, he says. Um, your girl drank her Red Bull. I even brought it in the shower with me. So, yeah. But that's going to be the outfit for Saturday. Um, tomorrow we have to do a Target run because my son doesn't have, my son doesn't have formula. And I just realized that today. Like a little while ago. Um, we ate pizza for lunch. I mean for dinner. Because I didn't have rice either. <laughs> like we are all messed up over here. But yes. I will see you guys tomorrow at Target. It's Friday. Hello. How are you? Um, we are on our way to pick up my cousin so that I can go to Target. So that I can get some formula. And then so that. I can meet up with my other friend who um, has her baby with um, like a size age and then we are going to go to we're gonna go to um, the mall yes I'm going to the mall I'm doing something different why my cousin bought look different anyway we're gonna go to the mall today as I was in the back not out he feels so much better I cleared out a lot of his mucus with the booger and suck the booger suctioner thing um, but yeah so we're gonna go to the mall I want to buy um, John a little something I ordered my sweatsuit that I wanted there's another one that I want. It's a uh, Alexander Wayne one. And I think I'm just going to bite the bullet and buy it. Um, I haven't bought something designer in a, in a little bit. I haven't bought something designer in a bit. So I think I'm going to just bite the bullet and just buy me what I want. <laughs> um, because, yeah, it's you invest in your pieces, like I said. So... 
we're gonna do that i will cue the montage and i will see you after everything <laughs> I didn't even get to vlog, not one time. We spent literally like two hours there. In two hours, I changed him, fed him, burped him, ate something, walked to two stores, got one thing, and yeah. Burped him, um, uh, fed him, burped him, changed him again, and then had to go pick up my kids. It, it's a no for me. Kidding. Something from G uh, G Star. Someone has been this for me. And yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Please hold. And we're back. So I ended up getting some packages. Um, I'm just gonna share a few with you. Um, the other packages are still on its way, and those are for like a haul that I'm gonna do with you guys. I've also lost two nails, and it hurts very bad so just ignore that but from amazon i just got a pair of socks these are the the mush down socks that you can squirt like roll down case from my phone i needed a new case i've been having this blue case since like november i ended up just getting a black case and it has butterflies with it like a black just like unitard it stretches it goes all the way down. It's flared leg. I thought that I could wear this with the dad socks. Um, my Zara vest. Um, this is like a good material for his um, Daca Tot. So that I can just cover it. Um, and the actual Daca Tot is not getting spit up on it and stuff like that. So I went and got a Daca Tot cover. These are my daughter's boots. I just went and bought Milani a pair of chestnut mini uggs super cute she needed a pair of shoes Ooh. she needed a pair of shoes for the winter got in for today when everything else comes obviously we'll do a haul but as of right now that's it i had a long day i'll see you guys tomorrow i no longer want to vlog as bad as it sounds i have a headache my son is literally screaming his head off and yes hey guys welcome back so today is saturday February 10th and so we are going back to the mall we're gonna try this again we're going to go back to the mall because I ended up grabbing the wrong size for John's sweater so we're gonna go back to the mall exchange it and I have to stop at Sephora but I just want to show you my outfits I got this on Amazon I'll link it down below per usual I'm going for a clean girl aesthetic my Uggs didn't come in, so I'm not going to wear it. So I'm just going to throw on some Yeezys. I'm with my bag, and I'm cute. And maybe, like, throw on this jacket. I'll see you guys later, or you can cue the montage. We're going to try this, like I said, again. So, let's go. Hey, vlog. So, we just left the mall. John forgot my camera. <laughs> inside the car. Nah, I, I forgot my camera inside the car, so... <laughs> X out the montage because they ain't nothing to show you but when I get home I will quickly show you what I got um, only because I have to be at my dad's dinner in an hour so and he lives like what 40 minutes 45 minutes away so yeah we don't have time to kill as I was so much better this time around <laughs> um, 
and we ate quickly like some chick-fil-a even though we're about to go and eat this time i won't be that hungry but by the time we sit down and order drinks and then food yeah maybe i might be like a little a little hungry that was my first meal all day so far so i needed that i needed something in my stomach to be honest um we couldn't exchange John's sweater at the place. We have to go back to the specific store. So we just ended up buying him a whole other sweater. And I finally found the red sweater that I was looking for yesterday as well. That I told you guys about. Um, yeah, but we're literally like two minutes away from home. So... I'll let you guys see what I got. I got some goodies. I got a lot of things for the kids, honestly. <laughs> they needed like a little revamping in their wardrobe or whatever because I literally got rid of so much stuff. Right, babe? We got rid of mad stuff. Mad stuff. And I still feel like I need to get rid of more stuff, but I'm not going to obviously throw out their whole, whole wardrobe and start fresh. Um because they need clothes too but yeah most of their clothes to be honest is um uniforms they have a lot of uniforms and it takes up most of the room in the drawers so what i was thinking was i i should go and get some hangers from ikea like the same hangers that they have now or maybe i'll just order it online because they're like two, a dollar we're finally home Why you always look at me when you part? Because I know you're gonna say something. Say, say. I'm not saying anything. You just made me. I'm too far. No, just don't go too close to him though, because then he won't hit you trying to get out. No, he's not. Need a little bit of space. You're on neutral. <laughs> I know he was gonna say something. I knew it. I knew it. Never good enough. All right, quickly because we really, 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 really gotta go. So the first bag is from H and M, and I just went and bought a Zai, um, some winter clothes because he grew out of his zero to three months fairly quickly, and now he's like wearing three to six, so he doesn't have a lot of three to six months clothing. So I just got him a lot of clothes. It was a little sweater and it comes with well, pants so a little sweatsuit I got a gray one so that one's like dark gray this one's like a light heather gray you know me you know who I am a nude color because I like the neutrals and then brown or tan whatever you want to call it and then he got like t-shirts to go under so he got green gray baby blue and then tan to go under the heather the charcoal gray and then i got him a little jacket for springtime so he can fit it and honestly everything was at H&M for babies was buy two get one free so that's why I got it it's from Zara and I got him I got Zayden a baby or a dark blue jacket super duper cute come here let me see if it fits yeah, it matches Milani's. Milani's has the, she just got this like two weeks ago. The puffer jacket. And it's also from Zara. I got it in a size 9 to 10 because the 10 to 12, I mean the 11 to 12 was like super big. Yes, see, and it's big on him. You look good. Got this for my daughter. Super cute. So 
So she has new Uggs, so she can wear this with her Uggs. I got it in gray. And they're like flared to go over the pants. I got it in a size 9, 10. And then I got the pants in a size 9 because she's a little skinny. I got my son, let's say, a shirt called, it says Hype Zone. Super duper cute. I did get this in 11, 12 because it could be like oversized. And then I got him but I just throw it oh and then I got him a pair of sweats these are nice they're cargo sweats they have like the pockets and then they have like the little embroidered here I got these in a the size 10 because he's a little short I got them both hats for winter um because it's gonna snow on Tuesday so it's very much still winter um I got him the blue one so it matches his jacket and then i got her the little pink one so she could be girly with her black jacket so i got that in foot locker trying to get john a sweater which i'll show you in a second but i needed a pair of socks because my son steals all of mine the red sweater that i was looking for because he wanted the nike sweater we couldn't find the pants i'll order them online i'll see you guys um at my dad's dinner. I just quickly wanted to come on here to show you a Zai's new bracelet as well. It has his name on it. Super cute, so tiny. And I forgot to vlog again. Um, yeah, I'm just really bad at this. It's a lot. I've been overwhelmed with everything this week, but I'm going to close the vlog out here. Thank you guys for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for chilling. Thanks for watching. If you are, um, if you're a returning subscriber, you the goat. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on my videos so I know what you guys want to see. Interact with me. And yes, I'm sorry for this vlog, but it's as good as it's gonna get. Have a good one.